July 14th Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible 2 Corinthians chapter 9 from the New Testament For it is not necessary for me to write you about this service to the saints, because I know your eagerness to help. I keep boasting to the Macedonians about this eagerness of yours, that Achaia had been ready to give since last year, and your zeal to participate has stirred up most of them. But I am sending these brothers so that our boasting about you may not be empty in this case, so that you may be ready just as I kept telling them. For if any of the Macedonians should come with me and find that you are not ready to give, we would be humiliated not to mention you by this confidence we had in you. Therefore I thought it necessary to urge these brothers to go to you in advance and to arrange ahead of time the generous contribution you had promised, so this may be ready as a generous gift and not as something you feel forced to do. My point is this, the person who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and the person who sows generously will also reap generously. Each one of you should give just as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion because God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace overflow to you, so that because you have enough of everything in every way at all times, you will overflow in every good work. Just as it is written, He is scattered widely, He is given to the poor, His righteousness remains forever. Now God, who provides seed for the sower and bread for food, will provide and multiply your supply of seed and will cause the harvest of your righteousness to grow. You will be enriched in every way so that you may be generous on every occasion, which is producing through us thanksgiving to God. Because the service of this ministry is not only providing for the needs of the saints, but is also overflowing with many thanks to God. Through the evidence of this service, they will glorify God because of your obedience to your confession in the gospel of Christ and the generosity of your sharing with them and with everyone. And in their prayers, on your behalf, they long for you because of the extraordinary grace God has shown to you. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. God, we have heard what Paul is saying uh, about giving generously and giving with a cheerful heart, uh, not reluctantly, but out of out of humbleness of all that you have given. And we know that everything that we have is because of you. And and the part about this that is amazing to me, I, I get and have very well learned the lesson that everything I have is yours and that generosity at being able to tithe and also do other things with my money uh, is just amazing. It was such a an important lesson to learn as I grew in my relationship with you. So that part I totally get, but the piece I have always missed in here in reading this and, and just realized as I was studying this particular chapter is that's also true for our relationship with you. That if we uh, sow sparingly, we'll reap sparingly, N not just in the things that you give us of this world, but more importantly, all of the righteousness that you give us. You know, if we go into this relationship with you and we treat it like a surface relationship and uh, we tell people that we're Christians, we go to church on Sunday and we pray to you once in a while, that's sparingly. And our uh, world that's going to be given back to us, our experience, our relationship with you, and all of the opportunities we have of helping your kingdom are going to be very, very slight. Whereas if we just go and we go hard and we have this big faith that matches our incredibly big God, can you imagine what you will give us? You will teach us and help us learn things and you will overwhelm us with blessings as you have so overwhelmed me with blessings. And you will give us ministries and you will give us mission opportunities in your kingdom, allowing us to reap generously an opportunity to be even more for your kingdom and help even more show people your sovereignty, your grace, your mercy, and definitely your forgiveness. It's just amazing to me that I'd always thought about that of, 
of the blessings here in this world. And I hadn't realized that you do the exact same thing to my faith and my relationship with you. But it's what has happened to me, especially in the last few years, that as my faith and relationship with you has gotten bigger and bigger, you have given me more and more and more to learn, more responsibilities, more opportunities to talk to people about you. What an incredible blessing that is, God. And I just can't thank you enough for trusting me and having faith in me to go out and tell others about you. I love you so much. In your son's name I pray. Amen.